Hi guys, my name is Pablo and today I want to share with you an awesome tool that I recently discovered for myself, Mighty Meld. It is a visual editor slash inspector tool for all of your React based projects. It works with Next.js, app directory, server side components, any uh, React based project. You can just drop it in. It doesn't go in the way of your code and it just works. So let's start. So the first thing you would need to do is you would need to sign up for an account. So I'll click sign up for free and I will use my uh, Google account. Once you're in, uh, it will be very simple. Uh, you can go directly to uh, Mighty Mail documentation and see how you can install it on your machine. So first you, can, you need to install it globally. So I'll copy this command and I'll go to my um, IDE terminal and I'll just execute that. And now I have my Tmail installed. So I'll go back and the next, we just need to run npx my Tmail inside of our front end uh, directory. I run Medusa e-commerce here as an example. So first I'll start a Medusa backend server. Then I'll navigate to my uh, storefront directory and I will execute npx mighty meld. It will ask me what is command to run my development server and I'll leave it standard because it's uh, npm run dev. Um, it will ask me my preferred uh, code editor and currently I'm using Cursor. It will also, also ask me on which URL my web server runs. So for the front end, it's a localhost 8000. And uh, I'll say yes to run uh, Prettier on save. And I will open my browser to authenticate my Mighty Melt. And come back my code editor. And it will ask me to install Next.js plugin. I'll say yes. Then it will ask me to override my uh, Next.js config. And for this time, I'll say no because I need to keep it. So I'll come back to my uh, to my Tmail documentation and I'll open a Next.js uh, documentation and I'll just manually enter the config. I'll copy um, next.config.js code from here into my uh, local repository. So I have my next dot uh, config.js file open here and I'll just paste it here. So now after I save the file I can run npx mighty melt again I will confirm and it will open the studio for me. It can take uh, a few minutes on the initial start and it will open the integrated uh, device viewport here. And on that, our configuration is done and we are ready to work with Mighty Melt Studio. As you can see, I have my uh, store font running here and I can, I can scroll through it. I can uh, inspect elements. I can click on it and uh, I'll make it slightly bigger. I can see uh, all the classes that applied, Tailwind classes that applied to this element and I can inspect individual one. I can uh, toggle between edit and drive mode. Uh, I can open a product page. It takes um, a little bit of time in development mode. And then I can switch back um, to my edit mode and hover over all of the components and I can see the class names applied here. I can see on click events here. So it is very neat and it's very convenient. I can resize my, my device so I can switch to tablet. If I want to add additional browser here, I can open mobile browser. And it will open another window here and I can drive this browser as well. I can go back to 
the store page and in the similar way I can inspect elements here and uh, see what are their properties um, on top I can open um, the tree and I can inspect uh, the tree of the element yeah. here and perhaps I want to edit the element I can uh, right click on it and I can open it in editor and it will open this element exactly in my editor here so I can edit the code let's say I want to make it uh, text red I'll save the file I'll open my mighty meld and as you can see it's changed the text to red and I can do the same way here I can change it to blue 600 and it will change it to blue I can also uh, click on edit source and it will open an integrated uh, code editor here which is very convenient as well and additionally to that I can navigate my entire uh, project um, source fo folder here so perhaps I want to open my uh, my checkout page and uh, edit my layout so I can do that and it will show me the uh, component tree of my layout it has a lot of features it uh, uh, it has a git control so you can uh, commit your code um, to git repository from here you can see the diff so um, you can inspect all the changes uh, all your code changes here um, as i mentioned this um, tool it seamlessly integrates with with your code you don't have to um, sacrifice any of your um, code practices or uh, uh, folder structures for for it to work you just drop it in and it works so I'll encourage you to uh, go and install MightyMeld and see how it can bring value to your uh, front-end development. Thank you for watching. See you next time.